Hello. Well, I've had a lovely day painting. I've done a couple of paintings that have turned out really well in my nice light bright rainbow type colours. And now I have just got paint that is left over and if I didn't do anything with it, it would have to just get thrown away. So I thought I would show you what I do at the end of my painting day. It is a bit like being at play school really, <laughs> because this isn't going to be anything to keep and I don't want to do another canvas which is just messing around and I don't want to do something that isn't successful. So what I tend to do is get all this old paint that will be thrown away and just play with it really. Um, what I do is use up the paint, I let it dry on, these are just plastic carrier bags, um, and then once it has dried on the plastic I can make it into sticky tape. <laughs> um, I use double sided sticky tape um, once it's dry and um, I normally actually stick the acrylic side and it depends. It depends if it's a clear bag or not. Um, so this isn't a clear bag so I would stick the other side. Double sided sticky tape. Um, and it's really nice if you particularly have painted a nice painting for somebody for a present. Um, we are in lockdown at the moment so we have not been able to go and buy presents for people in shops so I've been painting paintings for people um, and then putting it in tissue paper um, and then I can stick it down with a nice piece of sticky tape that I have made myself with a nice acrylic pattern on it um, and it's just nice. Um, what I also do if I use thinner pieces of plastic that are transparent, actually what I tend to use is those, um, I might use one later, um, the clear bits that come off of the canvases <laughs> that they're already wrapped in. Um, so that comes out lovely and transparent, a bit like a stained glass window. Um, and then when I put my paintings into gift boxes for people, I stick a sheet of that on the top so it matches the sticky tape. So yeah, this is just having a little bit of a mess around. It's just for fun. But it's just a nice way to use up all my old paint. And it doesn't have to be anything that I have to put much thought into. And it's really surprising because some of these that I do actually dry really nicely. And I have got one that I am going to put into a frame because it's come out so well. And uh, it's actually, it's, you know, just a mess around, but without putting any thought into it, it came out, came out really well. So, yeah, so I thought I would just show you what I do. And these paints are just so nice because they're all shimmery, and glittery, metallic. And particularly if you put it over plastic, um, it does dry nice and shiny. The other thing that I have thought about doing with them, with the sheets, is that once it's all dry, like uh, a stained glass window, um, is actually oops, putting it on gift cards and uh, seeing how that looks as well. blue is really nice. It's just 
just a little bit different to gold or silver for example it's really shiny and metallic but slightly warmer than a silver and not quite as cold as a gold There, so that has just used up all that extra paint. So there's a nice big deep puddle of paint there now. And I will use one of the clear bits of plastic just to show you. So this just literally came off of a canvas that I unwrapped earlier. So it's just thin, shiny plastic. And then I just lay it over the top. I do try not to get it too creased. Just, uh, I try to do it so it does touch all the paint. Um, because it is quite transparent, it doesn't matter too much if it does have any bits that don't have paint on it because it does come out like a stained glass window and depending on what you wanted to do with it if you wanted to put it for instance on a piece of white card um, it wouldn't matter if you could see through it a little bit and uh, you can put it in a frame because it is it would be surprised how beautiful it can be when it dries. So I think that's all the bubbles. So now I just peel it off. Pretty much the imprint that you get here is what is on the plastic. And I'll just go and put that to one side to dry. I can't really show you because it's very, very messy, you can imagine. Oh, I don't know. Perhaps I can show you. Oh, there it is. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, like I say, you can cut it out, put it on a piece of white card and uh, put it in a frame because it's a picture in itself. I would normally stick it down with double sided sticky tape just so it's nice and smooth around the edges. Um, and then this, which I now have on plastic, um, I will make some tiles out of this again, or you can make sticky tape out of it. Double sided sticky tape, um, just cut it in strips with the sticky tape. Um, and then it's really lovely to wrap up your presents or you can stick it on the front of a card or stick it on the front of a box uh, and it's just a really nice way to use up that excess paint from the day that you might otherwise throw away and maybe you didn't want to do another canvas so yes I hope you found that interesting and maybe you might want to give it a go because it's good fun and it really doesn't matter if it all goes wrong and you make a mistake because it's just a carrier bag. <laughs> okay, hope to see you soon. Bye bye.